Agraf has seen 30 COPs, the climate summits. It's seen recessions. It's seen COVID. And it's done exactly the same thing every single year. It has just incremented by about the same amount. and has just gone up, 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 up and up, not caring what we say about it at all. The Met Office says 2025 was the UK's warmest and sunniest year on record. Four of the UK's last five years now appear in the top five warmest years since 1884. All of the top ten warmest years have now occurred in the last two decades. Tom Whipple is a science writer for The Times, joins us now, always our guide to matters scientific. Tom, morning to you. Morning, hello. Uh, Is something going on with the climate, Tom? It turns out it is, if only people have been telling us this. Look, it, it's um, utterly uh, unremarkable that this is happening. Um, we have a continually warming world, so you would expect the most warm years to be the most recent years, and that is exactly what we're seeing, and that is exactly what will continue to happen for all of our lives. Uh, you'll know from working here, Tom, that there's a constituent of reader and listener who will just say, there's nothing much to see here Nothing's really going on. There's a whole conspiracy about a net zero that is fueled by this, and we shouldn't worry about this. Yeah, look, actually, the, the argument has changed, and I'm, I'm grateful that it seems to be changing because there was always an argument that we should be arguing about policy. We should be talking about the best ways of responding to this. And that is now what's happening in a large constituency of those who previously might have been arguing about other things. Um, there is a uh, very much an argument that, you know, should Britain do so much alone? Uh, is the, the, the cost of this worth the benefits? Uh, but for 30 years, we have been arguing not about policy, but about reality. We have been having an argument with the laws of thermodynamics. Um, you know, in, in 1930, uh, someone did the calculation on the back of an envelope, what would happen if we doubled the concentration of CO2 in the atmosphere and concluded that temperatures would rise by about two degrees. And that's exactly what we're seeing. So th- th- this is what's happening. And we should probably start from that basis and then decide what we can do with it. And is, does that mean, Tom, that the, the conversation... I'm always interested in this question of if we have a debate about adaptation, how do we adapt to a world that is getting hotter? It might just be realism or it might be giving up the fight because we're saying we can't limit the climate, uh, the climate in, uh, increase. Well, look, we're going to have to have adaptation because the world is already getting hotter. Um, and you know, the, the, the issue with saying that's giving up is uh, eventually we're going to have to not give up. I think what, whatever, whatever people think about current warming, whatever people think about the speed of that we're attempting to go net zero, there is surely a level of warming up with which most people would not put. There is a point at which this will be... Now, this might not be in our lifetime. You might be one of these people who say, actually, look, I'm comfortable with three, four degrees by 2100. We can deal with that. But it doesn't stop at 2100. At some point, I suspect everyone would, if they sat down and looked at it, think, yes, at some point we do have to completely change our economy because fossil fuels are going to continue to raise the temperature. And may- maybe you are cool with three degrees. Maybe you've looked at everything and you say, actually, no, that's fine. We can deal with that. I can deal with the loss of whatever else that means. But four degrees, five degrees. Um, so, yeah, look, uh, eventually adaptation won't won't do it and eventually we we are going to have to find a way to stop this how gloomy are you tom and i've seen something that you said where you say maybe our grandchildren or children won't be able to go to the alps the alps won't exist as places of snow and 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 imperious beauty Uh, the concept of winter might not be as uh, as 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 it has been portrayed in the last thousand years is that that something that won't happen to us but maybe might happen to our children or our grandchildren um, and the Alps is happening now. I, I find it, p- purely selfishly, as someone who loves climbing, I find it very sad. Um, the Alps, if if temperatures stabilised as they are now, the Alps would lose half their ice. Um, that is a, a certainty that is simply the laws of physics. Uh, the temperatures aren't going to stabilise as they are now. I, I went uh, to a glacier um, a couple of years back with a uh, glaciologist in Switzerland. It was a glacier he did his PhD on. He was going to chip off the last bit of ice to put in his freezer because the glacier no longer existed. This is a reality, and this is happening anyway. We have already lost the bulk of ice in the Alps, although the ice doesn't know it yet. It's still, it's, it's still melting. But, you know, this is 
people can still say, so, so what, Tom? You, you don't get to go on your mountaineering trips. Um, you know, th th this is the trade-off, and fossil fuels have brought us wonderful prosperity and all sorts of good things that have come with them. Um, so th th these are the things we have to debate. Uh, but at the moment, we, we probably shouldn't kid ourselves that we're doing well at it. Um, yes, there's lots of good news, if that's what you're looking for. Renewables are doing amazingly. Um, they, prices are coming down. Um, in the UK, prices are still very, 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 very expensive, and that may be in part because of renewables. But there's lots of stuff happening. But there is a graph, and it's probably the only graph that matters, and it's a graph of atmospheric CO2 concentration. And that graph has seen... 30 COPs, the climate summit, it's seen recessions, it's seen COVID, and it's done exactly the same thing every single year. It has just incremented by about the same amount and has just gone up, 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 and up, not caring what we say about it at all. Well, on that on that sort of positive note, Tom, uh, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. It's always good to speak to you, always get a bit of a realism from you. Thanks so much. Cheers. That's Tom Ripple there, science writer for The Times.